The president of Venezuela, Nicolás Maduro, denounced that the terrorist attack on the main gas distribution complex of Venezuela located in the east of the country was planned from Colombia by the ultra-right Marina Corina, Maria Corina Machado with the support of drug traffickers and paramilitaries. In the event, five people were injured, 11 were arrested and one foreign fled. The report with Madeleine Garcia. This is how the Muscar complex located in the state of Monagas, east of Venezuela, was left after the explosion that took place a week ago. It is the hut of the system that distributes 80% of the gas to the whole country. The blast was an attack. For the first time, the images revealed by Vice President Delcy Rodriguez denounced the three events took place in a chain of uh, two days. The first case was a grenade that did not detonate on November 10 at 7.30 a.m. in the west of the country that was intended to interrupt the production of gasoline. Seven hours later, a fire was set in a coca unit that produces diesel and left the eastern part of Venezuela, the other extreme of the nation, without fuel. And the following day, on November 11, this terrorist attack took place. Now they are attacking the vital raw material for thermoelectric plants, such as gas, to affect oil production, to affect petrochemical production, to affect the production of the basic companies and, of course, to affect the electricity service, mainly in the east of the country. The president of Venezuela, Nicolás Maduro, confirmed who is behind the attacks and at the epicenter of the plotting. The attacks are planned from Colombia. Behind these attacks is the world of drug trafficking and paramilitary that today surrounds the mercenary queen, Maria Corina Machado. She is behind these plans. She left precisely to concentrate all her evil, all her desire for revenge, all her fascism and to harm Venezuela because her last name, her ambitions, her ego did not prevail in Venezuela. But I tell you that justice takes time but it comes. But none of this is casual. In the New York Times, on November 18, eight days after these actions, Maria Corina Machado confessed that she was willing to do whatever she had to do while asking for help from the recently elected U.S. President Donald Trump to generate more pressure against President Maduro. Another fact is that not 24 hours have passed since the attack and, curiously, the U.S. mercenary Eric Prince who collected funds to assassinate the Venezuelan president and other high officials of the country, one day after the attack wrote in his ex account that for the United States and its allies, the first indication suggested that the explosion occurred due to an alleged deficient maintenance and obsolete equipment. But it turns out that an external company is linked to PDVSA. Eleven people have been arrested for internal complicity and a foreigner has fled. They do the damage and then, start the manipulation to generate the deception. Of course, the electric service that depends on the gas coming from that plant was affected, it was calculated. The investigations point to a CIA operation that is at the forefront of the actions that have been registered in the last four months where even more than 500 weapons of war that came smuggled from the United States were seized and at least 19 mercenaries, ex-rangers, arrested. None of this is new. Recently, eight former intelligence agency and Trump administration officials confirmed that the tycoon in 2019 ordered a covert CIA-led initiative to help overthrow Venezuelans and strongmen, the oil interest. The former official said, that campaign led to a disruptive digital sabotage operation against the Maduro administration, says the U.S. media investigation, which also reported that at least once Colombia got into the action. The Colombians have a long history of collaboration with the CIA and Pentagon paramilitaries, the ex-official confessed. Close to $247 million lost in this explosion. The oil workers, firemen, and civil protection managed to control the situation, and the investigations continue.